I wish it was just so clear as that, but unfortunately my path has been full of turns. Lots and lots of twists in there. My name is Ian Salmon, and I am part of the first Hack Reactor at Galvanize class on the Platte Street campus. Before this, I was a teacher and professional violinist for about nine years. My love affair with the violin has not ended and it will never end. But around 2017, especially in the summer, I started feeling some career burnout. In my free time, um, while I was teaching and performing, I actually started building some custom websites. I built websites for nonprofit organizations, and I was also a system admin and website builder for the Suzuki Institute of Dallas. My brother's a software engineer, here in Denver actually, and he was one that first inspired me. He said, you know, if you can do this, I bet you can do what I do. I bet you can be an, a software engineer. I was self-taught and I was doing really well. I started exploring some of the boot camps in the area. There are so many out there, as well as all of the remote options but many of them start from the beginning. And I had, granted self-taught, a year and a half of back-end experience and some front-end experience from my previous career in side contracts. I really didn't want to pay a ton of money to start from Hello World all over again. We always had a connection to Denver. We would come skiing and always thought, wow, that'd be a great place to live. So when I saw that Denver had a booming tech scene, I thought, you know what, let's move to Denver. My wife was totally on board with it. I had heard about Hack Reactor through various advertisements and also just through research over the last year and a half. Saw amazing numbers. Saw some projects coming out of it, testimonials, even uh, blog entries by Hack Reactor grads and thought, man, I wish that they weren't in just San Francisco and New York. I would love, love to attend that school. Then in December, I get an email from Travis, one of the recruiting, one of the recruiting guys down here at the Platte campus. And Travis is making me aware. He says, just wanted to know if you knew about our new Hack Reactor curriculum. <laughs> what? Hack Reactor is here? I got super excited. I immediately went home and Googled Hack Reactor interview questions because I knew that it was no joke getting into this immersion. So I studied my butt off. I took it so seriously, my wife thought there was something wrong with me because I went from hating the idea, hating the discussion of a boot camp, to suddenly being all about it. I was incredibly happy when I got that acceptance letter. I believe in immersion education because I was a Suzuki violin teacher. I taught three-year-olds how to play the violin with full immersion. That's, there's no secret ingredient to teach a three-year-old how to play the violin. You surround them with music. And that is how you can teach a three-year-old to play the violin. Why should it be any different when you're a software engineer? My cohort, those are my, it's an, it's an all-male cohort, so I, I'll say they're my brothers in arms. We have been with each other every step of the way. This program encourages you, forces you to be autonomous. There are many engineers that would say, good, you need to learn how to read documentation. That's something that I definitely learned in this program. But you also learn to lean on your peers. The galvanized community is all that I could have asked for and more. I can truthfully say I'm further than I thought I was going to be. I'm amazed at the skills that I've developed. I would strongly, strongly recommend to anyone that was on the fence about the time commitment to attend an immersive program like Hack Reactor at Galvanize to lose those thoughts immediately. You will learn so much more here than you possibly could on your own. And this community has been incredibly encouraging and absolutely essential in my success.